Hey everybody, it's Glenn, back in this video with my first ever Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles custom action figure, and it's Krang. To complete Krang here, it sure has been a long and winding road. Some custom projects just happen like magic, and others leave you scratching your head for hours and hours, and Krang here falls into the latter category. Krang himself began life as an Extreme Ghostbusters figure, Extreme Ghostbusters being the late 90s relaunch animated series of the Ghostbusters franchise. I move Krang over to one side you'll see this is the extreme Ghostbusters figure. You'll see the resemblance in the face there. Ghostbusters figure, he comes with his mouth on top. You pull a trigger and he shoots a missile. <laughs> kind of cool, fun toy. So as you can see here, if we compare the two figures, I pretty much only use the face on the Ghostbusters toy. I hacked apart the top part here and then sculpted all this brain effect on the top of Krang's head as you can see there. And on this Krang figure I also really like the profile. It's good posture with the weight of his brain kind of sloping backwards with gravity. And beyond the Extreme Ghostbusters toy and the epoxy clay that went into making Krang, I also used the Marvel Select Brood for his tentacles, both of which do articulate. Now Krang as a project, I developed the Extreme Ghostbusters figure simultaneously with a robot walker that I kit bashed with pieces thrown together from my fodder bin as you can see from a picture here. I ended up deserting that robot walker I just couldn't marry the parts together and make it work in a way that left me satisfied so then I just developed Krang thinking that Instead of a robot walker, I would complete Krang in his android body, which is also how we see Krang in the cartoon. And as for the android body, this is as far as I got with that. This is a 12-inch movie rotocast Hulk figure, which I chose just because of its bulk. I had planned to do a lot of modification to the figure but I only really got as far as fitting these Apocalypse Builder figure shoulder joints so that the Rotocast figure went from having just swivel shoulders to a ball jointed shoulder and then I abandoned that idea. Who knows, maybe one day I will do a second Krang in his android body. I'm going to sit this current work in progress to one side and maybe return to it one day. But really just by chance I was in my local TK Maxx which is if you don't have awareness of that shop it's a discount shop largely selling clothes but they do have a toy section and it's um worth paying attention to it because you can on an occasion um, pick up a decent deal on various toys. Anyway, on a recent trip to my local TK Maxx I stumbled upon this toy and I bought it. It was only £4.99. It's Stick Fuzz, which I believe is an Asian toy company and I bought it just crossing my fingers that I could somehow make the stick furs robot walker fit to the Krang figure that I had completed. And that wasn't the easiest fit to do really. 
because I had to um, hack apart the Krang figure that I had already finished. I ended up um, cutting the bottom off the Krang figure so he looked like he was sat inside the robot walker and then also removed the tentacles from the figure and fit a join to the base of the robot walker so that the tentacles would still both articulate and then also as you may have seen from the work in progress picture I did add these kind of sleeves to the tentacles and believe it or not those um, parts are about half an inch of a marker pen that I cut up and added to the figure and then the dome also needed to lose about half an inch from the bottom that I cut all the way around just so that the bubble part um, was more of a snug fit to the Krang figure but I think it's quite the decent fit for Krang and if you've never seen or heard of these stick fuzz model kits they're basically like a um, airfix model kit that come in parts and you have to assemble yourself yet unlike airfix there's no glue involved and the models are very articulated as you can see here they're all based on ball joint mechanisms plus these ankles here also pivot so while immediately not the most articulated action figure um, this Krang figure is much more articulated than you may otherwise expect from looking at him and of course my Krang figure was inspired by Nika's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures which came out a couple of years back and as a size comparison there is Donatello of the said Nika series and I think the figures work quite well together Nika only ever produced the main four turtle figures um, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have quite the interesting rogues gallery so um let me know what you think of krang here and i may just have some more teenage mutant ninja turtle villain figures in the works if you have any um favorite tmnt villains in mind do let me know in the comments and you never never know you may one day see them appearing here on my channel anyway krang is available via ebay auction so please check out the link in the description below as ever please comment rate and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next video bye